Hi, I'm Andy Glass with WorkshopAddict.com. Today we're going to take a look at Tormex brand new T8 water-cooled sharpening system. Let's go ahead and jump into the assembly. I start by taking everything out of the box. Little did I know that top black foam is an organizing tray. You get the following items with the Tormex sharpening system. The Tormex unit itself, the SG250 original grindstone, SP650 stone grater, WM200 angle master, TT50 truing tool, SE77 square edge jig, magnetic scraper, leather wheel oil, PA70 honing compound, WM200 storage plate, machine tool rest, advanced water trough, DVD, literature, and manual to operate your T8 sharpening system, and lastly, a package of band-aids. All this fits neatly in that black tray I discussed earlier. To start with assembly, unscrew the easy lock knob, remove the paper bushing, install the wheel, and secure with the easy lock knob. Next, remove the leather honing wheel and using some rough sandpaper, quickly rough up the rubber wheel to give it a little extra grip. Then reinstall the leather honing wheel. Apply the leather honing wheel oil in the white tube. You will use about two-thirds of the tube. After the oil has absorbed, apply the honing compound in the yellow tube. Using a tool, spread the honing compound over the entire wheel. Remove the protective covering and install the Angle Master metal storage plate. Next, install the advanced water trough and using the knob, raise it to the highest setting. Turn the unit on and fill the water trough. Keep adding water as the stone will soak up a bunch. Maintain the water level to the max level line. And lastly, you can install the tool rest. With the unit now assembled, let's go ahead and sharpen our very first chisel. To start, you will need the square edge jig, the dressing tool, and the Angle Master 200. Install your chisel in the straight edge jig, making sure it's firmly against the right side to create a 90 degree edge. Then tighten the knobs. Install the straight edge jig on the tool rest. Remove the safety knob from the jig and install on the end of the tool rest. This will keep you from going too far. Next we need to set our Angle Master 200. The left angle is for the size of the wheel and the right angle is the size of the grind angle we want on our tool. Place the Angle Master on the base of the chisel with the corner resting on the grindstone. Using the adjustment knob on the tool rest, fine tune the angle so there's no gap between the Angle Master and the chisel. Grab the dressing stone and apply moderate pressure using the coarse side. Make contact with the grindstone and slowly move back and forth. We want to wear the grindstone evenly and not favor one spot or another. The water from the trough will keep the grindstone and chisel cool, preventing overheating and ruining the temper. When you have completed the entire bevel, we now need to redress the stone with the fine side of the dressing stone with moderate pressure. We then can spend a little bit more time on the grindstone before heading over to the honing wheel. Remove the straight edge jig and the tool rest and move them both to the other mounting holes. You'll need to flip the unit around. Just like before, install the jig on the tool rest and because the honing wheel is smaller than the grindstone, we need to reset the wheel size on the angle master. Adjust the tool rest with the adjustment screw to dial in the correct angle. Apply a little bit more honing compound if needed and using the same side to side motion as we used earlier, polish the bevel. With the bevel polished, I can remove the chisel from the jig and polish the back to remove the burr by pivoting it on the tool rest. As you can see, that woodworking chisel was no match for the T8 sharpening system. This system can sharpen everything from woodworking chisels to kitchen shears to axes, planer blades, short and long knives. It can sharpen just about anything. Putting demonstration out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about the accessories and the unit itself. The unit is 10 and 5 eighths inches square and it's 12 inches high, so it has a very small footprint. It has two wheels on it. The left wheel is your aluminum oxide grindstone and that has a diameter of 10 inches and it's two inches wide. And the other is a leather honing wheel which is eight and five eighths inches in diameter and it's one and one quarter inches wide. 
The unit itself has a single zinc cast body with ABS plastic. The motor is an industrial single phase motor that produces 200 watts of power. It run by 115 volts. It's extremely quiet and it's rated for 25,000 hours of life and it rotates at 80 RPMs and produces 14 Newton meters of torque. Now the continuous running and maintenance free is really nice on this uh, motor as when you apply pressure with your chisel or your knife or your ax head to either the aluminum oxide wheel or the honing wheel, it's not gonna bog down and uh, change its revolution. It's gonna stay at a constant 80 RPMs, which is extremely nice. The universal support mounts are casted right into the unit itself and then precision milled, which this is gonna increase your consistency and precision when sharpening your tools as they are mounted directly to the casting and to the unit. The advanced water trough on the T8 system has some upgrades when you compare it to the T7. It has a lifting screw on this side of the unit. You simply go counterclockwise to lower the trough and clockwise to raise the trough. And this allows you to bring the water level up to the stone and then also lower it to remove the water trough to fill it up and empty out uh, the metal shavings. The, when dealing with the metal shavings, it has a magnetic scraper that catches the shavings and keeps them from grabbing onto uh, the water stone and coming back around as you're sharpening your tool, which is really cool. And then also the metal scraper doubles as a scraper. When you take the water trough off and bring it over to the sink or the garbage, you can empty the water and then scrape the bottom of the unit with the scraper, get all those shavings out, and then you can rinse it out, fill it up, put it back on the unit, and you're ready to go. The water trough also has this water chute, so if you're uh, sharpening planer blades or large knives or anything longer where that water can come up and then drip off one side or the other, that water chute's gonna bring that water right back into the trough and it's gonna keep your uh, work area nice and clean. The aluminum oxide grindstone can sharpen carbon steel to high speed steel and they also have a few other options such as the blackstone silicone grindstone and then also the Japanese water stone. Here in my woodworking shop, I use my woodworking chisels nearly on every project, and I'll be honest, I don't keep them as sharp as I probably should, and that's due to my past sharpening setup. I had a couple water stones, it was messy, it was cumbersome, uh, the results were inconsistent, I wasn't very good at it, I just didn't like it. So my chisels would go a lot duller than they should, and a dull tool is an unsafe tool. Um, so there's absolutely no excuse now that I have the T8 Tormac sharpening system to let my tools get even remotely dull. Uh, this system is amazing. Um, I've wanted one for quite a while and it, it makes sharpening fun, it makes it enjoyable, and the results are perfect, they're accurate, they're repeatable, and you, you don't get better than Tormac Sharp. The Tormac T8 water-cooled sharpening system was my first powered sharpening system, and with the help of their literature and instructional DVD, I had this thing assembled and was sharpening my first chisel within about 10 to 15 minutes. And the results after that first one um, were nearly perfect. I had to make a few adjustments because my angle was set wrong a little bit so I didn't produce a square edge to the side of the chisel, but um, looked at the directions a little bit, made some adjustments and uh, touched it up and boom, it was perfect. If you're anybody that needs a sharp tool, whether it's a chisel, axe head, knife, a wood turning tool, anything, the Tormac T8 is the solution for you. I'm extremely impressed with this tool, with the innovations that they've had throughout the years to get to the T8 uh, model. This thing is very well thought out, it's very fun to use, and the results are repeatable and perfect every single time, uh, as long as you set this up right um, with the help of the directions and manual. Head over to workshopaddict.com. We have a blog and a forum. We'll have a write-up on the Tormac T8 sharpening system. Follow us on social media. I'm Andy Glass with Workshop Addict. If you guys enjoyed this video, please smash that like button, share, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.